Welcome. Today I'm gonna do a guitar tie dye. -de 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 -de. Okay, step one. This is a dry 100% cotton t-shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this on a diagonal because I want my guitar to be diagonal, kind of like you're playing the air guitar. So find yourself a good reference. Top part is gonna be up here, and then. So again, this is a half of it, right? So it is going to be one half. So imagine it being twice as big. You're going to kind of eyeball this the best you can. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Here's the top. Here's the neck, here's this part-ish. Now the trick is we have to pinch this all the way along this edge so that this line stays completely straight. This is going to be the tricky part. Um, especially since I think I have to switch this around to the other side carefully. I'm making, starting off by making pleats on this line, okay? Bunching, bunching, keeping this line straight. So we're going to be twisting, twisting and bunching, twisting and bunching. <laughs> Okay, once I folded, once I pleated along the edges, I went ahead and used my fake sinew. It's very waxy, so it's going to hopefully resist a little bit of the dye and also keep it taut right there. And then I went around the fretboard and the hole and tied those off as well. And I'm going to apply the dye. All right, so I'm going to focus on the guitar section first, and I'm going to worry about scrunching the rest of this later. Okay, so these two little parts should be black, and I did some color mixing. So I actually use some orange and blue mixed with a little bit of brown. So here we go. Wipe off any excess dye along the way so you don't get extra spots on accident. All right, so the rest of this is the guitar. I did a little color mixing again. I mixed yellow and brown together to get a light brown. I see a lot of guitars that are more light brown than anything, so that's what I'm going with. And I'm thinking about adding just a little bit of orange in there because um, I think it'll help with the contrast later when I do the blue background. So I think I am going to go ahead and add some orange to it just as some accents to make it interesting. I did go ahead and add a few splashes of dark brown just to make it more dynamic. And then I decided, hey, why not try adding a black border right along this line. So I do that to both sides. Now I've got this all bunched up and I'm going to go ahead and start adding my blue. I have two different blues, light blue and dark blue. So I'm going to start off with light blue because I could always go over it with dark. Either worked or didn't. I just have to be careful not to accidentally cut the t-shirt. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I just unwrapped it. Check this out. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! It worked. And then the back is like this. Let me show you the back. Okay, here we go. 
It's been washed, it's been dried, and it's time for the big reveal. Time to show our guitar tie-dye. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, and uh, here's the back. So my next step I was thinking about doing was, because the guitar itself is a little bit light, I want the black center to be a little darker, and I'm thinking about maybe adding details in there, um, like the strings or the knobs. So I'm going to use some fabric markers. So yeah, I'll show you the details after that. You could leave it just like this, or if you want, you could add extra details on there. Alrighty, I've used some fabric markers, permanent fabric markers, and I have outlined the guitar and added some details. So let's check this out. Here we go. Woohoo! Guitar tie dye. And the back, again, is still blank. <laughs> Just some nice blue and white. Um, I wanted the guitar to only be on the front. There we have it. Guitar tie dye. If you like this video, Click like, hit subscribe, and check back for some more tie-dye videos. Also, if you like this sun t-shirt, go ahead and watch my video down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.